Chair sure, recognizes the gentleman from Todd for explanation of the bill and a motion thereon. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Will you ask the clerk to report House Committee Substitute 1 to House Bill 5, please? Clerk, please report. House Committee Substitute 1 to House Bill 5. General from Todd. I move for adoption. Motion is for the adoption of House Committee Substitute 1. Is there any discussion on the committee sub? Seeing none, those in favor signify by voting aye. aye. Those opposed, nay. House Committee Substitute 1 is adopted. General from Todd. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. House Bill 5, as amended by House Committee Substitute 1, addresses a topic that everyone would refer to as a bourbon barrel tax. Uh, with going into the lengthy history of that in Kentucky, I would simply point out first that this particular type of inventory tax is unique uh, in the world. It is a tax upon inventory that's actually in process. No other state has any tax similarly situated to it. Um, a barrier to entry at, um, at best, uh, a de declination of the industry at worst, at worst. Um, House Bill 5, as amended, attempts to address this issue um, as follows. It sets up a schedule that begins in 2026 and works through 2039 by gradually reducing uh, what revenue can be brought in off of this particular tax uh, at the local level. It begins with a 3% decline, 3% decline, and after a few years goes to 4%, and then more significant declines uh, in latter years approaching 2039. Uh, the import of that easily is, is that revenues will continue as currently scheduled for 23, 24, and 25, and only in 26 would there be any potential effect on revenue. Internal projections based on Department of Revenue's normal reassessment of the distillate uh, that's taxed. Uh, the assessment value is set and sent out to locals, has been on a historical up for extended periods of time. We expect those to continue. Likewise, if there's any volume increases in those districts that are affected, uh, there would be another type of increase, which would net uh, increased revenues through projections of 2030, maybe 2031, possibly in 32, at which times 31 or 32 uh, net revenue increase would stagnate and then start on a decline, which would take approximately three or four years before it would return to 2026 levels. With a change in revenue at the local area, there are two significant categories that we're concerned about, one being public education school systems and the second being uh, local entities such as cities, counties, fire districts, EMS uh, type entities. As to the school, public school district and the funding, uh, any changes that might occur from changes to this particular inventory tax, one, uh, public schools are funded through a SEEK formula not direct revenues uh, necessarily like other small government entities would be. Working within that SEEK formula, there would be a certain amount of backfill if there was any decrease in local revenue. In a separate bill that will be coming after this, I anticipate, Mr. Speaker, it has a hold harmless provision that would allow those local contribution rates to remain steady at 2023 20, levels once they've been finally calculated which would further protect and make sure that public education school districts should feel no or very little effect. In my opinion, it will be close to them. Second category will be uh, local entities such as cities and counties and those fire districts and um, EMS districts. So I'm gonna treat those two separately. We're gonna do city and county, and there is a mechanism in House Bill 5 that allows cities and counties to impose a license fee uh, through a particular time period to offset revenue reductions that might occur later on, as well as uh, encourage industry to step up and deal with uh, industrial revenue bonds, which has been a topic well discussed. Uh, once those IRBs are dealt with, then uh, the ability for the cities and counties would be uh, really distributed to nothing. Uh, and then they would have an additional set of tax bases that would come back into play with the IRA, IRBs being removed. As to the fire stations and EMS, the general schema is, is that each would be able to impose a license fee similar to cities and counties, 
but that could start and continue through rather than 2039 when the bourbon barrel tax would be uh, put to rest, uh, they could actually continue through 2049 with a formula put in place to help them get enough revenue to supplement their budgets. There is one final piece that's in the committee's sub and there may be additional changes coming to it for clarification purposes. But originally, the first draft that went out public on Friday would have sunset the tax credits that were created in 2014 by the General Assembly, which are really no longer being utilized. It would have sunset those January 1 of 2024. However, uh, issue was raised as some of the distillers that we're trying to bring into the state uh, to grow that industry even further and compete with other states. This would be an incentive if we put some of those credits back into place, some of that program, so that startups and small would have some assistance uh, and let them grow. So there is a 25,000 barrel exemption to that sunset on January 1 of 24 that would allow those credits to move forward and accumulate for a 10 year period to see if that in fact helps the uh, nascent businesses in this industry. Mr. Speaker, we ask the clerk to report floor amendment one. Mr. Clerk, please report. House floor amendment one to House Bill five. Gentleman from Todd. Mr. Speaker, as uh, was previously indicated, this is a technical correction. No change to the substance is to make it to apply. I would move for adoption of uh, floor amendment one. Motion made for the adoption of House floor amendment one. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. All, right. All opposed, nay. Motion carries. House Floor Amendment 1 is adopted. Gentleman from Todd. Mr. Speaker, with, with all this having been said, I would move for final passage of House Bill 5 as amended by House Committee Substitute and as, as subsequently amended by House Com Floor 1.